We recently had a major Halo 3 PC flight detail info drop for you guys showcasing the content, new features coming in with that, and the limited frames currently working right now for Halo 3 on PC, as well as console to PC crossplay in design phase, and so much more with this video. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it helps more people get a chance to see the video to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo. So let's get right into the content here. Now as we do at the end of every month, we get a big boy MCC development update. This time the main development update was released by Postums, giving us a whole lot of details about a lot of stuff going into the MCC right now. The big news being the information about Halo 3's flight process and when that's going to start, the, what we're going to be able to play within that, and a whole lot of information considering that, as well as a big portion of what goes into fixing bugs in the MCC as well. So really great details. I'm going to have to chop this up to multiple videos, so make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date so let's get right into the content so let's start off with the content i'm sure you guys are really concerned about in this video and that's flighting content for halo 3 on pc as we all know Halo 3 is essentially the apex of the Halo franchise and what most people have been looking forward to when these games are coming to PC. And uh, we are all very excited, me included, since Halo 3 is my favorite game. And uh, we got plenty of information when it comes to what content we're gonna be able to play when this flight happens. So the flight date is not official yet, but we do have a time frame of the beginning half of June, which is obviously the beginning of next week. Uh, I would assume probably the second week of June, so probably around like the 11th or 12th is probably would be my guess. Just assuming, uh, currently right now, I believe we're in ring one when it comes to the flighting builds at the moment. So the new features gonna be tested in this Halo 3 flight build are gonna be customization, updated customization will be available for Halo 3, Forge, Forge will be available for all players during this flight, theater, Theater will be available to use for mouse and keyboard in Halo 3 and challenges, the complete challenge system including the challenge hub screen will be available in the first time on, in this flight. So that's incredible just by itself right there. Original Halo 3 customization coming back because if you don't know right now or don't really remember, currently in MCC for Halo 3 you have select armor builds like just recon or just Hayabusa or just EOD. Well this one you'll be able to mix and match just like you could back in the Halo 3 Destiny. That is awesome. Really glad to have have that customization in there. Forge, of course, is going to be a huge tool when it comes to creating a consistent player base when it comes to these games. Forge has always been a huge part of Halo and the experience of playing that and I'm really looking forward to see what people can pull off on the PC when it comes to this. Keep in mind that's also Forge for Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Reach as well for when this game does release officially on PC. So it's not going to be just Halo 3 at Forge, it's going to be on full release. Forge will be available for all the games that have Forge are currently out on PC. Assumed as well, theater mode coming back, which is a great addition. Um, hopefully, maybe they'll be able to do a bullet beyond lock 60 FPS. I wouldn't count on it, but hopefully so. Again, this is another feature that was brought in Halo 3, kind of a core pillar of the experience of the game, and I'm really glad to see this coming in. And challenges, the system I was super excited about coming into Halo 2, and then it was just so lackluster and literally didn't have a UI for it. But now they actually have a UI built out for us and then we'll get a chance to play with, around with it in Halo 3. If you don't know what these challenges are, currently what they are is just weekly challenges for the campaign so you can earn some XP. So uh, in the previous dev update, they showed a preview screen of what they might look like, basically earning like nameplates and XP for completing specific tasks. And it has a UI written out for all the kind of things. We'll also be able to play some campaign missions as we usually are able to. You can play these on any difficulty you want, single player or, co or cooperative as well. So the campaign missions being Sierra 117, the Storm, the Ark, the Covenant, and Halo. Again, cannot wait to get a chance to play these campaigns at just a great frame rate, high resolution, the smoothness of mouse and keyboard. I'm really looking forward to it. There's also going to be multiplayer with this flight, and this might be the most pack full of content multiplayer experience we'll have for a flight. Uh, they will include custom games, social games, competitive games as well. Playlist being like social games, 4v4, uh, eight player, free for all, 12 player infection and APA, so you got BTB in there, which is great. You have competitive, which they have the most variety for competitive. We have uh, just regular to Halo 3 hardcore, which you'll probably see me in mostly. Uh, you have Halo 3 Team Slayer and Halo 3 Team Doubles for the flight ranked, which is gonna be crazy because normally we only have 
just one hardcore player. So this one we have three. And for the multiplayer maps we'll be able to play on will be Construct, Guardian, Last Resort, Neros, Sandtrap, The Pit, Valhalla, Foundry, Standoff, Avalanche, Sandbox, and Heretic. So essentially, all the maps you would really want to play from Halo 3 are going to be in this flight. Another part of some big news about Halo 3 coming to PC that isn't mentioned in this development build, but it is mentioned on Reddit from 343 Farm. So a guy who works on 343 mentions about how he responds to a question about how the unlimited frames and currently in Reach and in Halo 2 Anniversary feel rather, well, framey to say the least. Uh, you can be getting 120 frames, but it can still be kind of jagged or choppy. Not the smoothest experience, but when you're playing like classic CE or classic Halo 2, it's buttery smooth on limited frames. And on Reddit Farns says this replying to that same question, asking we are in the process of implementing the same interpolation you see in Halo 2 Classic into Halo 3 now. So far it looks promising, but we're still working through bugs, which that's absolutely awesome because unlimited frames on the newer titles that are kind of designed strictly for console have not really been that great of an experience where I just locked my frames at 60 uh, from pretty much the whole of the MCC, which is kind of sad because if you want to play on PC, you want to optimize your gameplay as much as possible and play on the frame rate that matches your monitor is perfect, but we're not exactly getting that at the moment. But for Halo 3, looks like we will, we will be able to. Now you yeah, probably also beg the question well can they do this for reach and for halo 2 anniversary and for halo 4 when it comes out well not exactly as far as replies to that question on this thread as well saying it's much more difficult problem with halo 4 halo 2 anniversary and halo reach but i think we'll be able to improve it over time so i'm really excited about that having unlimited frames in halo 3 will be absolutely amazing i just hope it doesn't cause any issues because a lot of these older halo bungee games uh, their physics and stuff were tied to the frame rate, so there's a lot of nuances and little things that can be messed up when you go in limited frames. Much like with CE, with the uh, extended bullet spread when it comes to playing on unlimited frames compared to 60 FPS, which is fixed now. But again, like little things like that will happen when you change the frame rate, especially when you go in unlimited with variable settings. Things can be kind of weird, so hopefully they can get that down. Now, I do want to mention some two key aspects of the MCC. There are things that are actively in development, things that are in design and basically things that are in the backlog or back burner that are not currently worked on but they are recognized that they need to be worked on and things for here for actively development are things like the progression system ui improvements double key binds uh, view model adjustments uh, but the new thing they're adding on to here is steam account linking which is awesome inviting people on the MCC right now is a bit of a mess, I find. And be able to link your Steam account with your friends list on your Windows account and hopefully vice versa, I think it would be a great way to hopefully make just inviting people into your game just that much better of an experience. But with this big section that I really like is the InDesign portion, which is the part where they're basically kind of building up how they want to put this all together. Some major, major opponents were added in here. One being the custom game browser is now currently actually being worked on at the moment it's not developed not being developed on but it's currently in design about how they will figure out to implement this into the game so we're at that stage now which i'm super excited about this another huge thing crossplay between xbox and pc absolutely needed absolutely needed with this uh title because the population again isn't the highest it's there but it's not the best and it could be a lot better and so having crossplay between console and pc will be absolutely huge which will also bring brings along input-based matchmaking is currently in design as well, which I think is a really great feature. Obviously, you want to prefer to keep people who are playing mouse and keyboard against mouse and keyboard players, controller players against controller players, but obviously if the match parameters are just too small, they will expand to have you know multi-input uh, device matches as well, which I think this is going to be a really great addition on top of that, as well as regional server selection. So you people that may be kind of out of the US who struggle to find matches can select US servers or whatever loca server locations that are populated, you can select to join those. Obviously, you might have some lag issues, but at least you'll be able to play the game. Again, InDesign means it's only being just concepted right now. It's not actively in development like the previous stuff I mentioned. So that's a very important distinction between these two. But well, there you go, guys. Major developments when it comes to MCC, PC, awesomeness coming for you guys. Halo 3 is just around the corner. I am super excited about that. I will keep you guys updated with all the Halo 3 news. So make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourselves updated with all the information.
coming with this flight and past that as well as long as long, as well as we're rolling into halo infinite getting there guys i'm super excited about july as well so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what you're excited about the flying process for halo 3 do you think you'll get in hopefully so and if you're new to the channel miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now i got a link to all my news information playlist videos if you've been out of loot for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out